Gaza, Yemen and Ukraine sound death knell for US-led rules-based global order. By the Strategic Culture Foundation. Published, January 19, 2024. The world has reached a point of no return. The fraud of Western powers is spectacularly exposed and has become untenable. Whatever moral authority or superiority Western states may have presumed to have had in the past, all that is now shredded, irreparably. The hypocrisy and duplicity of the United States and its Western allies have been perceived for many years, indeed centuries. There is nothing new in that. But what is new now is how glaringly obvious to the world the fraudulent pretense has become. Global consciousness is, in turn, leading to global contempt. There is, too, an unmistakable sense that Western leaders have become aware of their charade having been rumbled and of their imminent downfall. This week saw British government ministers issuing desperate scaremongering warnings about global threats as a way to rally public support for their vanishing authority. In doing so, they just sound laughable. Elsewhere this week, France's President Emmanuel Macron delivered a bizarre nationwide address pleading for national unity amid global chaos. Macron sounded pathetic as if begging to be given respect. The irony is that the threats and chaos that these political charlatans adduce are largely the result of Western lawlessness, as evidenced by their de facto support for the genocide in Gaza, and the relentless funding of a neo-Nazi regime in Ukraine to provoke Russia. For decades, the Western powers have gotten away with mass murder, illegal wars, and global vandalism. The difference now is that a convergence of crises has exposed their malevolence and machinations. The slaughter in Gaza has exceeded 100 days and the death toll is approaching 30,000. It is the most transparent genocide in history, as Richard Falk deplores. And, what is more, the United States and its European allies are fully complicit in the shocking crimes committed by the Israeli regime. Hospitals are shelled by the Israelis, medics and journalists are murdered, as are hungry people running to occasional food aid trucks. UNICEF calls it a war on children. Up to 800,000 people in Gaza are reportedly facing starvation, and yet the arrogant Western powers do nothing to stop this annihilation nor even condemn it. The complacency and smugness of Western political leaders like US President Joe Biden, and his Secretary of State Antony Blinken are nauseating. The United States as well as the European Union are enabling and arming the Israeli regime with no restraint. Indeed, when South Africa presented its charges of genocide against Israel at the United Nations International Court of Justice at The Hague last week, it was apparent to the world that the US, Britain, and other European powers were de facto in the dock as well over their complicity. Washington, London, and Brussels have pointedly refused to demand a ceasefire in Gaza under the guise of cynical excuses that recycle odious Israeli propaganda lies, such as the Palestinian militant group Hamas allegedly using human shields or hospitals as bases. Yet these Western powers turn around and suddenly bomb Yemen, the poorest country in the Arab region because it has taken the principled action of blocking Red Sea shipping as a leverage point to force a ceasefire in Gaza. The Yemenis are invoking their right under the 1948 Genocide Convention to act in solidarity to prevent the genocide of Palestinian people. Thus the Western powers are not only arming, enabling, and justifying the Israeli crimes in Gaza. When another party, Yemen, takes action to help the Palestinians, the Western powers double down on their criminality by assaulting Yemen. The Red Sea shipping crisis could be easily averted by calling a ceasefire in Gaza, as the Yemenis are contending. So, why don't the Western powers comply? The conclusion is that they are unwilling to stop the genocide in Gaza. The Israeli regime is a bastion of US and Western imperialism in the geo-strategically important Middle East. It is effectively mandated to get away with murder as it has done for decades since its inception in 1948 under the auspices of American and British neocolonial chicanery. Let's be clear. The US and its British attack dog have no legal right to launch strikes on Yemen, as Scott Ritter explains. 
What these Western powers are committing is criminal aggression against a country where over half of the population of 33 million is reliant on food aid. The deprivation in Yemen is a direct result of the US, Britain, and France's bombing of that country, along with their clients Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, from 2015 to 2022 in an attempt to oust the Ansar Allah government. The depravity of the United States and its Western neo-imperialist partners is plain to see. The presumed moral authority they proclaim is bankrupt. These powers are nothing but lawless rogue states whose much-vaunted rules-based global order is an audacious cover for their unilateral barbarity and banditry to ransack the rest of the world. Blinken, the US top diplomat, was in Davos this week for the annual Western Elite Summit. That gathering is now a parody of pretenses. Blinken was pontificating about Gaza, and how the suffering breaks his heart. Listening to this narcissistic non-entity, is an affront to moral decency and common intelligence. His British counterpart, Lord, Sick, David Cameron, was also at the Swiss Alpine Resort holding forth about international law and security. Cameron even had the brainless temerity to claim that the current global situation was reminiscent of the 1930s by comparing Russian President Vladimir Putin to Adolf Hitler and Russia to Nazi Germany. Cameron has got history upside down. The correct comparison is Western powers to Nazi fascism. The Americans, British, and other Europeans are fueling genocide in Gaza while bombing Yemen, and sponsoring a neo-Nazi regime in Ukraine that openly venerates World War II collaborators of the Third Reich like Roman Shukvich and Stepan Bandera. Also attending the Davos mountaintop circus was Ukrainian puppet President Vladimir Zelensky who was, as usual, begging for billions more in financial and military aid. That US-led proxy war against Russia has caused the deaths of 500,000 Ukrainian soldiers and up to $200 billion in wasted Western taxpayer money. Ukrainian pensioners, women, and disabled people are now being dragged off the streets to join the slaughter facilitated by the Western-sponsored Kiev regime. The massive crimes in Gaza, Yemen, and Ukraine are an integral part of the Western rules-based order it is an object lesson of the same root cause. That is, the Western imperialist system, headed by the United States. The world has reached a point of no return. The fraud of Western powers is spectacularly exposed and has become untenable. The Western imperial facade is imploding from its inherent corruption. It is a perilous time but the harsh truth can set the world free of hegemony and the systemic this violence of Western This podcast was brought to you by BG power. Media App and BarGlobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, please download the BG Media App to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts. Mm -hmm.